Okay, this video will show how to use a spectrophotometer, uh, X right, uh, CI six seven hundred, uh, no seven six hundred. Uh, how to test the color? So this is the spectrum photometer itself. Here is the aperture. You can read the size of aperture. Right now, this is using six millimeter, and this is back support. If you have large specimen, you can use a different holder to put the different different size. This can be adjustable. We can develop your own holder uh, for any kind of stuff. Like uh, this is one of the holder. Uh, previous student had developed and uh, make a different hole. The round, like this square. So the testing should be fit here, and you push it in the back and do the testing. Okay, let's look at the machine. So the machine, uh, the whole light sphere is in the front. And this is the aperture. We can open that, but open carefully. Okay. If you need to change aperture, you just push this gently. Okay, don't touch anything with the light sphere inside. So this can be moved out because it's a magnetic. You can just remove it. On the side, all the accessory are here with different apertures, like 10 millimeter, 25, and the smallest one is 3.5. And today, we, we just uh, to show you how to use a 6 millimeter. That is normally the general size. Okay, make sure it's a fit uh, right in the place. Okay. We have a two calibration stuff. The white one, white ceramic tile, and black trap. Black trap has a mirror inside, so don't put any finger in, in it. Okay, don't touch anything inside. Always hold outside. So when you get ready, uh, log in the computer with your cookbook's pass password. We'll get in here, okay, look at the screen. This one is called the eye, color eye control. Double click on that. And now you can see uh, the operate ID you can put in, it doesn't matter. Uh, just leave it blank, or you can just put it in here. Whatever ID you, you like to put. Okay, so you can open a new e-job. If you keep working on the previous one, you can open the previous e-job. Let's do the open a new e-job. And here is some mode. I will set up uh, several modes on that. So you can select different mode. I would suggest you, you use a different kind of mode, uh, like this one. For the color measurement, you can see the the standard uh, expire because we need a calibration. Reflection mode, uh, six millimeter and UV inclusion. So we just put it down here, okay. And if you look at detail, you can look at everything over here, okay. So we should see the reflectance and include the spectra. That will be better. And the single mode. If you do the contrast ratio, you should use over light and over dark okay and choose the pore size and the aperture line mass yeah. and give, give it a name okay so there there could be any others like wood this is for the contrast ratio oops we we'll click on that it will go to the white different name you click on that and it will transfer to another setting so make sure they have the same same size if not same size the system will give you the error message okay so let's go back here to do the demo okay so we, first thing before you test the specimen do the calibration okay start the calibration so read the white tire. So put this in with the back support. Press gently over the aperture. Now go back here. See the read white tire. You click OK. And it said read black trap. 
Okay. Before you click OK, you need to change to black trap. Be very careful. Put it uh, facing up on a secure place. This one is a mirror inside. Don't drop it on the floor. Okay. I prefer to lower down this rack a little bit because the trap is a little bit big. Okay. This one has magnetic. The new version has magnetic, so make sure the, the black arrow is facing up. And click OK. You may hear the flash is working. So now you can see calibration is completed. Click OK. And now it's ready to do the testing. Testing is just a matter of trial. This one. Move the camera a little bit closer. You can see that. So when you click on that, okay. So you have the name. You input the name. Okay. For example, let's see, uh, so right now it's black, just see black trap, and see what happens. So you give the name, just click next. Okay, so the reading you can see is very close to zero. That LAB number is close to zero, that is the correct one. Okay, let me do the test, always put the black trap back here because it's big and there's a glass mirror inside if you drop on the floor and then we lose that standard okay so this one is a white tile you can see white okay so there is a function called preview if you have a sample you need to do the alignment you can open that the preview will show a camera inside the aperture so if you need to see something, you can see the my gloves is over here. Okay. If you need a line of specimen with a certain area, this feature will be very helpful. Okay. Otherwise, we just turn preview off. And you click next. The flash is starting. Now you can see the readings. Supposedly we should see L100, yeah, like that. But now somehow is something is wrong. Uh, we need to figure out why it doesn't show 100. Okay, pretty much this is uh, the testing. You can keep this window on and you put another name, for example, number three, and we test another specimen like that. For example, like that. So. Yeah, so you can get LAB for the rest of them. So you keep going on and on. And then you save that, save it each job. Okay, remember give a name, see what name it is. I suggest you save in this, this file and you can make a folder. Okay. For yourself. Okay. Testing 002, whatever. Give a name. So you save that. So to copy the result, pretty easy. Control A. Yeah. Select everything. Okay. Copy to clipboard, and then you you, you can run Excel. So you copy in the Excel. That's pretty easy. Okay. Right click, paste. Yeah. Everything is here. You can see L A B. Data A, data B, this one is not quite useful right now. You just need an LAB for the color and this name. So remember you put the name properly because uh, if you put it here wrongly, you, there is no way you can change that. Okay. That's pretty much like that. So save this original file properly. It's a very small file, it's very useful. So you save that and you copy paste uh, the tables. It should be very straightforward. For the standard, remember when you do a long term test for over two hours, you need to redo the calibration. And this machine, we need to do a proper calibration because this L reading is not that good. And we have B reading is a little bit off. We should get this L close to 100. 
this one should be very close to zero. Okay, let's stop the recording.